Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. AR here, playing the forest today. Uh, not too sure if you guys are familiar with the forest. If you're not, it's just a survival horror type game. Uh, it's been out for quite a while now. Uh, super fun game to play. Basically, survival horror type. It's uh, a bit difficult for newbies. I will say starting off is a bit of a challenge. Um, right now I'm just gathering some supplies for my epic departure from the shoreline here. Um, a lot of crafting involved with today's episode, so as always, I hope you all enjoy. I do have the modern axe, as you are well aware. I typically try to avoid making things like a, like a how do how to tutorial if you will um it's just not really my style but i guess some tips and tricks along the way never really hurt anyone but if you're uh, familiar it's a pretty difficult game it's super fun to play though um eventually i do want to go to the most difficult place to live this is the goal um, but I kind of need this to be done for me to do that, so. Got a little raft here. Uh, I guess you could call this cheating. I don't really know if it is. Basically, I just took a bunch of blueprints, and as long as you don't build anything, you can kind of get away with murder, actually. Um, yeah, that's why it's all hideous like that over there. I do need to do a little bit of hunting in between like collecting supplies or crafting the deer just go I don't see where she went huh well Go ahead and make this. There we go. Oh. Just swing and a miss. Uh, I will say though, with this game, <coughs> sticks are definitely a friend. Um, yeah, definitely have as many as you humanly possibly can carry. Drop that. And then, once I have this all squared away, I'm gonna make my way over to the most difficult place to, to live in the game. And then, basically, just build some traps. Um, I do want to build some really big walls, really big structure. Basically, just give myself the upper hand when it comes to combat. I'm not carrying more sticks, okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm full. And I will say, like, having the stick bag is uh, a must right off the back. You uh, want to have that readily, readily available. I'm surprised I haven't had too much run-ins with the locals just as of yet. So that's done. Let's see. I need a turtle shell for that. What else needs sticks in there? I feel like. Can I not reach that torch back there? Oh, I ended up just pushing it. I can't reach that torch at all. Oh, there it is. There we go. That worked some. It wasn't too bad. So now I really just need like a turtle shell. And probably some tree sap. I don't have a, I don't have a pot. I do know that down here 
you can basically find pot. Uh, there's the locals. Um, haven't really had much of a run in yet, so so far I've been lucky. I haven't had to deal with it too much. I think they left. Should be good. I just need to move quick and grab that. Some tape. Is that it? I thought there was like maybe a couple. There we go. Yeah. Don't want to linger there. For sure. And that's kind of why I built the raft. Is um, they can't really harm you. Not really. <clears throat> Once you're on the raft, get away from the island a little bit. Create some space there. At nighttime, though, it's a very different game. I will say, like, playing the forest during the day and during the night is, like, a very, very different experience, so... I need to push this out a little bit. And then, I want to say... Some rabbit furs. So I have a... I know it's kind of hard to see what's in there, but... There's, like, a lot. Uh, but primarily, the thing to build right now is that bed frame. Just so I can have the ability to save from the raft. Um, that was the goal, at least. Problem is, though, is I haven't really seen very many rabbits. No rabbits nearby. So, probably have to travel a little bit. And, uh, find a place I can find some turtle shells. Which I do know of a place... Kind of this way-ish. Oh, that's weird. It's like wigging out from moving small locals oh here we go just what I needed that turtle shell. Um, really, you can only have, I think, one at a time, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's get rid of that turtle shell, and then we'll come back and grab this guy's. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Oh, I missed. There we go. It's pretty fun animation. Oh, I thought I could make it. That's right. So I have rooms to hang my meats. My... Oh, there we go. Is there any more? I feel like I could hang one more right there. Can I not? I guess not. I wonder if I can sneak around the back side. Uh, I swear there's like room for one more right there. I guess not. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take the rabbit meats down. Is that dry? Yep. And then the lizard meats. Take these guys down. Come here. It's like a weird angle. Let's try the rabbit. Get the rabbit. There we go. Everything is dried, right? Okay, we're good. <sighs> so now all that's left is just to try and find some rabbits. I think I need three. Yeah, I've gathered three rabbit fur. So that bottom left hand corner has like the recipes I need to fulfill still. One of them is uh, those three rabbit furs. I also need rope. And I know of a place up ahead where I can get some. So if you're familiar with the map, that is the north facing mountains. It's kind of a good reference point for where to go on the island. So this little village over here on the right 
was like a decent spot to go to get rope. I think they might have a can of soda or two. That's basically about it. Not much there. Um, you can get rags from some of the like weird structures the natives build. This beach is like probably one of my favorite beaches to to make traps at. It's got like a narrow stretch of land right here. The only real issue is is uh, if you don't plan a structure to cut off, so like this area right here, you could still technically stand in it. So now and then, I hope this isn't a spoiler for anyone because the game's been out for a while. But now and then, like a mutant or cannibal can like run across this little like stretch right here. So even though it's like in the water, they can still stand there. So if you can build a structure like right through here to kind of help mitigate like a choke point, because this island already is like a pretty decent choke point. So arguably this is like one of the safest areas to stand. But as you can see, there's a lot of high traffic that comes through here. Like one of the, I don't know if it's the most active travel route for them, but it's, it's a pretty active one. And so I like to set up traps like right in here. Um, it's a good way to collect bones, which is a pretty important crafting tool that you'll need for the game. I don't want to tangle right now though, so I'm just gonna get out of here. But this is, I mean, this is also why I built the raft. I, it's considerably safer. That was a nice arrow too. If you can get headshots on them, uh, it's kind of the way to go. She need to like scream or shout or something for just a second. There we go. And that is, I think, the best way that I've found to combat the cannibals is just getting headshots on them. I know that looked really clean, but it, it's not always that easy. Um, obviously, I missed a couple times, but this is the best way I've found to, to deal with the cannibals, at least. And then there's some things you can do as well to mitigate like, the number of them, because when they're like this, like this amount is really dangerous. They can mess you up real quick. Let me go ahead and set those bodies and Oh, you're kidding. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, you've kind of got the idea. Obviously, that was pretty disturbing. Definitely kind of scary. Oh, feathers. Feathers. Some of these bodies burn. Shoot a few birds. I definitely need feathers for crafting arrows, which, as you can see, is a very important thing to have in this game. Oh, did I get. Oh. So. Definitely have a surplus of feathers. I don't think there's a cap to how much feathers you can carry either. So one of the things I want to do is when I build a structure here, whatever that will look like eventually, I do want to have like a good way to build a tree house, birdhouse type thing for the birds. Um, oh, the bones are done. And when it gets full, I just... Um, Build some bone armor. Sweet. And I can't really carry any more skulls than that. There's not much you can do with them, really. Um, 
Like, you can build, like, lamps. Um, that's really about it. I'm glad it's raining, though, because I really need some water. Running a bit low, and that's not got any water in it yet. I don't know if it's like a proximity thing, I don't know if I have to be staring at it. But sometimes I swear, like, unless you are, like, it doesn't fill up with the rainfall. It's kind of annoying, actually. You can't just, like, build it there and leave it there and expect it to have water and then come back. It's really unfortunate. Um, I think it's time to make a quick little run for the ropes. I definitely need to eat because I am running low. Wait, what? Can I just eat that? Oh. oh, here we go, here we go. Yes. And guys, that's why I say the slingshot. Oh is absolute king. Yes. If I could just get a few more of those. Really just two more. We'd be big chillin'. Here's a rope. I see something reflective here. Oh, money. Money, money, money. So you can get rags from these as well, and I don't think there's a cap to how many rags you can carry. So that's one thing to, to always watch out for. Oh. I don't want to be caught out here after dark, guys. Oh, there's one right there, there's one right there. Please don't move. I think you ran away. I apologize for how dark it is. Because I'm playing on console to you guys, I can't do that like neat trick that a lot of people do on a uh, PC, unfortunately. So I apologize if it gets like so dark. That is one of the greater challenges though of playing on this is it's hard for me to show you guys effectively what's going on at night. Which, I mean, it's kind of the point. It's a horror game, right? It's like a survival horror game, so it's meant to be terrifying. But I'm telling you, dude, I get scared. I will scream and I will shout because of how scared I get at night sometimes. And it's, like, impossible to see where that rabbit just went. I'm almost better off just throwing the spear at him, honestly. Or using the bow, I suppose. But... Oh, the cannibals. It's funny too, because, um, they're rendering, like, really close rather than, like, really far. If I can just get this rabbit, dude, that'll change a lot for me. Yes! There's one more right there, too. That's the last rabbit we need, guys, right there. Oh, man. Oh, I'm full. I guess I could eat another one. I can just find. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in trouble here, guys. Oh gosh, there's four of them too, and I'm landlocked right now. I need that rabbit so bad, dude. I just need to be able to get it so I can save the game. Oh please. At least I have full armor. Where did it go? grabbing these little stones in the meantime. They kind of stopped looking for me for a second. Yeah, I can't wait to build out some traps for you guys. It, uh, it's like one of the good ways to take the game back, you know, from the cannibals, I feel like. It's just like, have structures, have traps. Um, the happy birthday trap is pretty dope. But until you do that, really, like, the game is theirs, so to speak. There's not a lot you can do. How is there more than four? 
Like, this place is crawling. Look at that. I can't believe I lost that rabbit, dude. Wish there was another one in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, please, 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 please hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, I can't pick it up. Ooh, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, right in time. Dude, that was too close. Okay, so now I can save. Let's go ahead and save the game. Okay, so, game is saved. I really need to figure out a way to set up the sap trap, which is essentially just a pot you put by a tree. I think you need like four rope though, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know how much rope I have. I suppose I could craft some with the, the rags I have. I'm starting to die from being too cold. No, it seems pretty weird to have a fire on your boat or your raft, but if the game lets you do it, is it really cheating? Yeah, I don't love the idea of being out there right now. I wonder if I can find the recipe though, so I have an idea at least of what I'm looking at. Oh, it's only one rope! So that's not bad at all. One rope, two sticks, one pot. For some reason I remember it being so much more, and I am totally cool with that. So this is a close tree that I feel like would be pretty easy to remember. Now I won't need this for very long, so honestly, not too shabby. And then, uh, I suppose right now is a good time as any to grab sticks I used to build here I think this like this pond right here guys um, so I'm the red thumb pin if you can see that I, I, I actually believe that this is the most difficult place to survive or to live on the map um, I just found that like the high traffic areas and maybe there's more data to support this rather than just like anecdotes um, but personally I found this to be like the most difficult place to survive for obvious reasons but uh if you feel like playing a challenging game um, it's de oh <sighs> yeah as I was saying it's definitely a challenging place to live um, but if you're into that sort of thing, it's definitely a place for you then. Otherwise, uh, I don't know what else to say. Just live somewhere else. Technically, they will spawn on islands, so even if you try to live on an island, I've had it be that they spawn on the island, so it's not entirely... Not entirely like bulletproof. I'm trying to give like a good distance so I can just hop back and forth without having to worry about getting wet though. Um, well, that's basically the game plan right now, guys. Is uh, oh, I'm full in pebbles. That's good. I think, I think I am gonna start planning the build here. I almost think that the rock structure is the way to go. Um, I don't have a rock bag. I think you need boar skin to craft the. I wonder if I just if I just toss. I don't have any rope either. 
I don't ever like doing this, but it's like one way to do it. So it shows you the recipes for everything that is related to rope. I know you need rope to craft the rock bag, but it looks like four skin, one rag, and three rope to craft the rock bag. So there's that. Um, otherwise, I suppose I could build. Yeah, I, I could. I could build like a defensive structure with just uh, logs. It's a bit expensive though, as far as moving all the materials. Where is it? So these are the traps. The deadfall traps probably my favorite. Um, it's pretty easy to build, um, highly effective. Happy birthday traps definitely more expensive, but it's visually like just so much fun. The defensive walls um, is kind of what I had in mind for this build. Am I gonna? Okay, cool. So I was, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Ah! Uh, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh! It gets me every time. Got him. Got him. What if I could just throw together a couple? It's been a while since I've used these. I always feel like you have to aim farther than you need to. Did you see that roll? That's spousal abuse, sir. Yes. Double whammy. This game really is the stuff of nightmares. It's definitely not for kids. Um, maybe I'll build like a tower, like a high tower that I can just like look down and lob down Molotov cocktails with. That sounds pretty fun. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll, I'll give it a couple days in between this and the actual build time, rather than like rip right through it. Um, so you guys have time to let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see as far as like build plans. I always need more bones. In fact, I need to build a bone basket as well. That'd probably be smart. I wonder if I can just... That works. Okay, so... Definitely need more rocks now. And I'm thinking as far as defense goes. I was almost thinking just like a defensive wall. I I kinda wanna put it on the outside of this rock so they don't have the opportunity to climb that. I was thinking if I start it in the water, somewhere like deeper ish, like there drag it out to like maybe do do like that number and then come back in a little bit like oh, something, like, something like that bam and then have like a narrow stretch in between here where I can put the gate obviously Oh, sorry, that was my dog. He's just telling me he needs to go outside. And then... One here. It's like... Here? Ish. Make sure it's in line. Something like that. I think would be the goal. And then if I'm not mistaken, I could put this guy here to there 
and then just make it a. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so that would work. That would definitely work. So that'd be the gate there. I'm thinking like a log defensive wall like that. It seems a bit excessive though. I might be able to get away with a little bit less. Problem is though, is I don't want to bet my life on less. So that's like the general idea. I'll tinker with it for a couple more days for the sake of just like knowing what I'll do. And then yeah, I'm thinking guys, like this is going to be the home base right here. I'll just build a big structure right in here and uh, that'll kind of be it. I might do a zip line from here to there. Wait, let me pull up the spear real quick. So maybe right in there. So I'll put the zip line in there somewhere and have it come from there to here. That way I can log everything I need and want. Or I can put one up there just for the sake of having it up there. Because I'm going to need a lot of logs. So maybe I'll, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do the zip line up there. Run it to here. And uh, do it that way. I wonder if I could do like like a tower here that's like right in here that's the same height as that or just slightly higher than that so I could zip line back and forth if I could do that that would be incredible although this area does seem a bit closer to that height so maybe what I'll do is zip line here like a zip line tower here and then stretch it out to there it's like a zip line back and forth it seems pretty far though for a zip line I'm sure it would work but I don't know maybe we'll see yeah I know this is a shorter video um, as always I appreciate you guys joining me pretty excited about this little mini series um, I don't know where this will go but I figured I'd be playing anyway so anyways until next time